Dean, defeat here at Roots Tour. Uh, what was your assessment on tonight's performance? I'm so proud of our players. I'm so proud of our management team, our coaches. I'm proud of our supporters, how we've come together. And we showed so much togetherness within this game. Um, the result's the result, but we showed togetherness. And uh, I'm proud of our players. And uh, like I said, I'm proud of myself and my family. <coughs> I'm, oh, the, bit, the word I can use is proud. I'm so, so proud of our performance tonight. I mean, the, the fighting spirit was really there to see, obviously, uh, get, going two goals down and then, and then putting one back ju uh, just before half time. Yeah. It, 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 take, it takes great, great determination to, to do that in, in a place like Roots Hall. That's what we've created. Our players have created that with the coaching staff, the management team. That's what we've created. We're our supporters. Supporters were brilliant tonight. Um, we haven't given the result they wanted or we wanted, but um, we showed a lot of courage tonight. Um, we showed courage in possession, we showed courage out of possession. Show courage in so many ways. Like I said, I'm so so proud of everybody um, of our performance tonight. Like we gave air all, and uh, that's all anybody can ask of any man or any woman is once you give your all in life, um, you can be proud of that, and you can be proud of yourself and your family. And uh, we have created a family environment at the football club, and inclusive of all the supporters, our players, our management team, and um, you know, our players. Like I say. Uh, shown character beyond belief. Given the character shown, was it frustrating to, to lose the game in the manner that we did, given that the goals were conceded? Not at all. Never blame the players for performing tonight, the way they performed. No chance. <laughs> they showed unbelievable bravery and courage. And uh, just at the start of the second half, we had a, a, a ten minute spell where we really went at them, which um, was on, on another day we, we might have uh, might have found the equaliser yeah, there. Yeah, just before half time, Efron hit the post as well. It was a big moment, great chance, glorious chance. And on chances on the game, there wasn't many chances at both ends. It was a tight game. We just started on the wrong foot. Um, our focus just wasn't there within that period. Um, but we refocused, uh, we reconcentrated, and uh, and we just showed their uh, grit, determination. And the players should be very proud of themselves and their families. So speaking about Efron, he came off injured. What, what was that down to exactly? He's got a dead leg. So he's got a dead leg. He tried to play on. Um, he's got a dead leg. Uh, this league's relentless. It's ruthless. And you can't have any excuses in this division. And if you give players excuses, or staff, or anybody excuses, you won't win football matches. And we've, we've done unbelievable to create a bond with our supporters, and the players and the management team. And... Um, the players showed that today. They played for Barnet Football Club today. That's, they should, like I say, they should be, uh, they should be so proud of themselves. Uh, Adam Marich showed out how clinical he is in front of goal by, um, by, by scoring quite a, quite a well-taken goal, didn't he? Yeah, he's box player, man. Himself and Bloomfield, both of them got injured on a training facility a few weeks ago, rolling the rank, and so they haven't been fit. We've missed them. We've missed someone to play off. As we in Chesterfield, missed the target man to play off, or a clever player in Maz, uh, basically out and out centre forwards. We missed the same against Stockport. They're big losses for us, you know. We've only got two out and out centre forwards in the football club, so um, that's a little bit of a whammy. Um, and then obviously we've got so much pace in the wide areas and power. So, so, like I say, we passed the ball well. Talk Wes was excellent. He ran his socks off in the end. He just said to me, I ran out of steam. And like I say, that's all you can ask of anybody. He's gave us all. Um, Teddy Howe did well. He had the shift in at left back. You know, no Beardy tonight. He's got tonsillitis. Um, and you've got no Harry Taylor tonight. He's a big player for as well. Big character in our change room. He was, um, he's out with suspension. Um, so, yeah, so we've missed some big players for us tonight. Supports were fantastic tonight, and, um, and and they really got behind them, especially in the final ten minutes when we were we were really pushing for that equaliser. Yeah, look, I say they're, they're positive support. We're proud of that. You know, we've represented them today, and uh, we've represented ourselves and our families. And uh, we should, look, I say we should be proud of how we come together this evening. Um, so yeah, so we should all be very proud of our performances.